Hey everybody, it's Ross Newton from CrowdPro.com and today we're gonna show you how to get up and running with CrowdPro polls in just five minutes. So here we go, we're logged into app.crowdpro.com and we're gonna to go to create experience in the upper left corner. And we have trivia, bingo games, social walls. Today we're gonna to talk about polls and we're gonna click create here. Just remember a poll is when you wanna ask a, an opinion question, like what's your favorite color? What's your favorite vacation destination? Something like that. There's no correct answers, there's no rankings, there's no points or anything like that. If you want that, make sure to make a trivia game up here at the top. So if, you're, if you've made a, a poll and you don't see any correct answers or anything like that, You've made a poll and not a trivia game so on polls let's go ahead and click create and we can add the number of questions that we want and we'll just add make a three question poll and we can set that we want multiple choice questions text answers let's add that and we click next and by default we're in host control mode crowd per go ahead goes ahead and sets a few default settings for you all of which you can change later but we'll do host control mode to make that a manual game that we're going to drive ourselves and then we'll click next and we'll just leave this as multiple choice poll one and go ahead and click rock and roll this is going to create our experience dashboard this has got all the questions here that we're that we're going to ask our audience and unlike trivia we don't have a database of questions because we a poll is more for questions you might ask your employees or your friends or your family so let's just edit this question here and we'll say uh what employee benefit is most important to you okay and we'll press tab and we'll say uh 401k options pay raises more vacation and better office so we've made our question and we've got our available answers here and we can proceed through that for question two and question three and all that and now we're ready to go ahead and bring up something called the projector view i clicked on projector view this is the presentation format of your poll so it has a qr code that your crowd will pull out their phone and scan or they can just go to their mobile browser and type crowd.live and the code here 7dkmz and you can put this in the full screen mode and share this on like a zoom meeting or a youtube live stream or a webex if you're doing a virtual meeting or it's called the projector view because it's it's also meant crowdpro works well for live events and hybrid events so you can share Share this on an overhead projector put it in the full screen mode and it becomes sort of like a powerpoint view that everybody sees in, in front of them as they are voting on their mobile device so speaking of mobile devices if we click on mobile view this brings up a view into your poll that your crowd's going to see on their mobile device so when they when they scan that qr code or go to that url they would see this and have a message that says voting will begin shortly for polls we don't even require a nickname or an email or anything like that to join so there's nothing for them to even enter they just uh, click on your QR code and they're ready to go so now we're gonna start the poll here by clicking the timer button and that's gonna do a 10 second countdown which we can skip if you want to by pressing the play button here or you can turn that off or adjust that or set auto start times in our settings but once this counter once this countdown timer clicks down we now see our first poll question and what employee benefit is most important to you for for next year so by default we show live answers as they come in so if you wanted to hide that you would just turn off show live answers and you can see on the on the pr presentation view we no longer see that and so now i can go ahead and cast a vote my vote's going to be pay raise and that sends the vote in and when you're ready to uh stop voting and you can add timers for questions and all that um, you can see the results and show everybody in your crowd if you want to. So if I click on show live answer results, that shows everybody in the crowd that one vote came in for pay raises. And of course, with multiple players and, or multiple participants, you'd have a lot more votes. And we can see that on the projector view as well. And at this point, we're ready to go to our next question. Um, so that's basically polling and when you're done you can export your poll results to a csv if you're if you're on a classroom plan or higher we let you export your data to a csv so you can bring that into excel or a database or whatever uh program you want to visualize that in or, or, or move that data to um, but that's all there is to it when you're ready to reset your poll you just press the stop button and click finish and this will show every participant uh, a little quick review of the votes they made and all, all the data is still saved in here and i can then go ahead and reset this poll to, to play it again so if you were just practicing you can reset a poll at any time just click clear crowd responses and click it one more time and now your poll's ready to run again if, if, if you wanted to so that's crowd per polls in a nutshell in five quick minutes if you want a more detailed walkthrough check out the video crowd per full walkthrough there and thanks for checking out crowd per and we'll see you next time